Apparently, it took three tries, but you finally get into the end zone. How did that feel? I know it's been a long, long road for you to, to get back out there for the fans. Um, it's a blessing. I mean, I, I, I've been patient all this time, a lot of prayers. I'm um, just waiting my turn. Just felt good. I wish I had the first one, but hey, I got in there. Go ahead, Kurt. Hey, Kyle. New defensive staff. Uh, what did you see from, from, uh, from the guys today? Like, what were your impressions of the uh, first action in front of fans? Uh, from the staff or from the, from the team? Uh, staff and the way, or the, fan, the, the, the players and the way they reacted with the new staff. Oh, yeah. I mean, so we, we talked about just having a response, you know, from the other scrimmages, but I would say, like, we're, we're definitely starting to get much more comfortable with the staff, you know. They're, they're definitely a good combination of player and football coaches. So, you know, it's rub, rubbing off on us good. They're good, good men, good men for us. Kyle, you had a, a kind of really came on towards the end of the 2023 season, playing a lot more and, and kind of getting out there. Can you talk a little bit about your off season and what you were doing in order to, to kind of continue that? And, and, and obviously with the new staff, how, how you are going to continue that? Yeah, so I mean, me being a younger guy, um, the margin, the margin of talent is so small in Power Five football. So at this point, it's just all mental for me. So I mean, the biggest thing for me is just you know staying in the film room, just trying to just study, just studying the game, because I mean at the end of the day, that's that's what's going to set people apart in Power Five football. Leo, well, yeah, go back to you have Coach McKnight now, and and has some different. Things going on that maybe like a year ago. Just what has that been like? That transition work with him and, and getting in, back into the offense. It's been great. Um, he knows how to keep, teach each kid how to get open their own way. Um, he doesn't teach everybody everything. He teaches everybody to their strength and um, what they need to know to be a better player and develop them. So it's been a good replacement. I mean, we all love Coach Knight, Coach McKnight. Um, yeah, that's it. Other questions? But Kelly, Jonathan. Kyle, I'm just curious how you feel like your comfort level is now in the defense after spring. I know, unlike the offense, you guys had a lot to learn and install and that kind of thing. Just what is your comfort level like now? Yeah, I mean, start start a little slow. Uh, you know, it's, the game is really all about confidence. So, I mean, when you're learning a new defense, don't have much confidence. It's, it's hard to play fast. But I was saying, I will say that we, one, we, one thing we did a good job of is, you know, slowly stacking, slowly pro progressing each day. So... You know, we started start getting to the point where I was much more comfortable out there. Like today, today I was feeling very comfortable with you know, this new defense. Kurt? Sorry. Todd Butler had a pretty good day. What did you see from him today? Tajay? Tajay, yeah. Yeah, so, so Tajay's a ball player. He's a, he's a young guy. You know, he's, he's, he's showing us he can play ball. I mean, coming in as a freshman, I mean, at this point, you're really playing off instinct only. So, I mean, if he's showing, showing us good things off a of pure instinct, it shows him he's a good player. Jonathan? I asked the same question of, the, of uh, Haynes and uh, Zeke as well, so I'll ask you guys. From, from your perspective, can you tell me who gives you the most trouble uh, on the opposite side of the ball when you're, when you're out there facing, facing them? And either one of you can take it first. Uh, I would definitely say Jamal Haynes or uh, Malik. You know, just situations like in practice, you know, it's being in the open field with them. You know, it's like it's, it's a nearly impossible task to tackle tack one of those boys in the open field, but... You know, it's seeing it every day, you know, it's, it's helping us as a defense, too. You know, we have to adapt to it, have to adjust to it, and we have to make those plays. So I would definitely say Malik, Jamal. Uh, I wouldn't just pick one person because I don't think none of them give me any trouble. But <laughs> <laughs> but um, one person I point out is Seth, the freshman, really came along towards the end, um, learned how to play, play to his strength, a lot of hands. He, um, he's going to be a good player as long as he wait his time, be patient, and just stay ready. Okay, Kelly. Hey, Leo, tell me about Chris Elko and just <laughs> seeing him today get the ball out. Um, just like Haynes said, I've, I've talked to him a lot, like a lot of frustration, a lot of I just want a chance. I um, feel like I'm going to walk on, I don't get as much chances. I told him just, just stay down. Like the other day, I was like, you're making a lot of plays in practice, you're going to get your chance. Like, just be ready. You moving around. You you know every spot on the field. So just stay ready. And he came out. He balled. Like I told everybody on the team, I was like, "That's the MVP for today." Anything else? Right here. Um, how fun is it just competing? Um, you know, with these guys in the wide receiver room. Uh, you know, yourself, Eric Singleton, mm -hmm. uh, Malik Rutherford, going out there every day competing with them and, and going up against them. 
how the guys are being able to go out and feel a little bit. I mean, it's, it's very fun. You got to um, bring your A game every day because, I mean, it's a stacked room. Uh, I mean, it's a lot of competition, but, like, it's a bunch of love. Like, not no arguing, no fighting. Like, it's all love. Like, we compete on the field, in the locker room. We back to, like, just being big kids. So, it's a lot of fun. Anything else? All right. Thank you, fellas.